Hey there, FTD fam. This is Khalil with another video. Oh, man. It says here, Andrew Tate's life is in danger after becoming a Muslim. I don't want to hear that. Like, is, is his life is in danger? Somebody's after him because he says, okay, this is the way I want to go now with my belief system. That's not good for anybody. Like, I'm sorry to hear that. I don't I don't wish that on anybody. I, I'm just curious to see where this conversation goes. Andrew Tate and he and I, he doesn't know me from a hole in the wall, obviously. But just in following his conversion and all that kind of stuff, I just have my opinions. He's if you he, I feel like if you just sift through all the stuff he has to say, there's sometimes some value in in what it is that he he really feels and and his you know what makes him who he is so let's go ahead uh and take a look andrew tate his life is in danger after be uh becoming a muslim all right let's go ahead and see they thought i was small enough to crush and if they're doing that with you then we're next Absolutely. And, and i'm now at the point where i actually truly believe they're going to try and kill me happen they try and put you in jail for something you didn't do and if that doesn't Customers, work you i mean you are the product yourself i mean yeah. they can't change your face or try and no. get rid of you and I have huge amounts of influence, which is what they're scared of. And this is what, yeah. this is what we say. I said this to somebody, they said, oh man, you lost your Instagram, That's, that must suck. I'm like, yeah, okay, I lost Instagram. I can't show off my fancy cars, cool. Mm -hmm. But it's not about that. This is about genuinely good versus evil. This is about the fact that if you read any yeah. history book, the people yeah. who did the censoring were never the good guys. Mm -hmm. This is genuinely about the forces of evil versus God. That's what this is about. It's not about my Instagram page. It's about the fact that there are ideas that they have now that we can't talk against. For the last three years, they had this thing we weren't allowed to talk against. And look what it did to people. Look how it decimated people, locking them in their houses, destroying people's businesses, etc. And guess what's going to come next? Another idea we're not allowed to talk against. And another one we're not allowed to talk against. And people think that anyone who's ignorant enough to sit there and trust the rulers of Earth or their government and go, they're going to come up with ideas that I can't disagree with and nobody can disagree with. And those ideas are going to be good for me. Well, then you are a dummy. <laughs> I think the mask has dropped with your with your cancellation, because at the end of the day, when with your cancellations, as if they couldn't contain themselves, it was as if they made a mistake. <laughs> yes, I, I I would like to think that. I would like to think that we've now reached a critical mass, and I was perhaps the last person needed to truly show the agenda behind how these people work. I think it's a, I think it's a perfect storm of the fact that one, the things I talk uh, about, they proved me completely hmm. right. Yeah. Two, I said I was gonna be canceled. Three, the, they thought I was small enough to crush and they've realized that my fans are loyal enough to follow me anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, so I become more popular post cancellation, yeah. which also inspires people, right? I think the number one, the reason cancellation was such a powerful weapon is because if they cancel you, you're done. But yeah. once I prove that's not the case, yeah, yeah. then people are going to go, you know what, this is such an important issue, I'm going to tell the truth anyway, because if they cancel me, I won't be there. I think with you it's a bit different, because I mean, you didn't have a, you didn't have a company or a program that if you cancel, then you lose all your customers. You, I mean, you are the product yourself. I mean, yeah. they can't t change your face or try and no. get rid of you. Well, well, they, well, well they, they, can, they can try and <laughs> maybe, put... Maybe, maybe they will. <laughs> yeah, and that's, that's the only thing I will say about being canceled. Yeah, In yeah. terms of being canceled, I'm more popular than I've ever been. I've now moved over to Rumble, which is a YouTube competitor. Yeah. Rumble.com slash Tate Speech. You can speak with absolute freedom. It's just mm. as good as YouTube. I encourage everybody, anyone with a YouTube account, you can go to Rumble.com. Mm. You can back up your entire account with a few clicks of a button. We'll download all your videos, upload them all automatically. Get that done because YouTube will vanish you like this. So yeah. uh, that's Rumble where you can find me. But Jeez. Uh, Make yeah, a plug the, the, the only you. bad thing about being canceled is you have three strikes. You, first, they try and shut you up and lie about you and hope you'll be quiet. And yep. if that doesn't happen, they try and put you in jail for something you didn't do. And if that doesn't work, they kill you. So when you lose your first strike, that is kind of scary to that's know it. now that, OK, they've told me I must be quiet and I'm not being quiet. Yeah. So they're sitting around going, oh, Big Mouth still wants to talk. Yeah, yeah. And they're coming up with a plan to try and make me be quiet. That is disconcerting. It I, is disconcerting. I, I, well, I think this is very relevant to the movement for people, like in general, because the reason why I feel like this cancellation should be like such a concern for me, because if this can be done to you because of X, Y, Z view that you have, or that you had before Islam, let's say, a lot of those views were commensurate with Islam, fully commensurate with traditional Islam, especially your traditional views, gender roles, so so congruent with it. Now, if, if they're allowing you to, if, if they're doing that with you, then we're next. 
Absolutely. And we've got two choices. Either we preempt the situation, like yeah. what we're doing right now, yeah. and holding these unelected elites to account, yeah. or we stay there as lame ducks and put our neck on the chopping board and we'll be next. Yeah, absolutely. And this is why, once again, when I was saying earlier about, about the reason I've adopted Islam and how you have red lines and things you stand up for, it's the Islamic community, the only ones I see who are outside schools trying to protest and protect their own children, they're the only ones who have a baseline moral fiber that can't be corrupted. We're here in Dubai, right? You could walk outside and find a construction worker in the heat for $300 a month. If you offered him a million dollars to denounce Islam, he wouldn't do it. He, did, he could not be bought. And, and, and let, me, let me say something else as well. Do you know, we talk about hypergamy, which I agree. I mean, all the, almost all the studies, like this one by King and stuff like that, shows that um, hypergamy is a, is a real thing, yeah. right? Um, that women will marry uh, you know, across and up dominant hierarchies. However, there's one thing I'll say about Muslim women, right? For the most part, and no study has been done on this, but I, from my own experience, I'll tell you this for a fact. Yep. Yeah? If you go to 100 Muslim women, 1,000 Muslim women, and tell them, look, you know, this, you've got this millionaire, but he, he's not a Muslim. You know, he wants to marry you. Yep. For the most part, I believe that they will reject that offer, which shows you a certain level mm. of loyalty that we have as a community, that we have as, as Muslim people, which is inspired from the Quran, to be honest with you. Uh, you are the best community that was sent from the people and that the Prophet told us about these kinds of things and it shows you quite frankly the strength of the Muslim community based on faith mm. a yep. transcendental idea yep. and who is they? well that's a good question even if I knew all their names I wouldn't <laughs> say it here <laughs> but, uh, why wouldn't you say it here? I wouldn't say it here because they've already given me quite a few warnings and I'm now at the point where I actually truly believe they're going to try and kill me. Oh, wow. I, I, so I, you've had messages from people I, trying to control you who you think would wow. kill you. I understand that you get three strikes in this game. Strike one is they try and shut you up and discredit you, which I've just been through. Strike two is they try and put you in jail for no reason. And strike three is they kill you. And one of my strikes is now gone, and I now firmly believe that they're going to try and kill me because they want me to be quiet. And I'm and I have huge amounts of influence, which is what they're scared of. Because influence is what the whole life, influence is what the world is about, right? If you send soldiers to a country to die, if you have literally a pitched battle on any country on the planet with tanks and planes and people are dying, that's only to control the ground so you can influence it. Like all of that is for influence. The media is for influence. What they tell people to believe the mindsets they want you to adopt is so they can influence you. So when somebody like me comes along who has a mass amount of influence and it's going in a direction they're contrary to, they sit and go, wow, this is a big problem from one person. And people have car accidents, people get robbed, people get shot. And that's the unfortunate reality of human nature. When you are a very large problem for very powerful people, they look for quick solutions and the easiest solution is to kill them. And I think it's going to get there if I'm not extremely careful. So. Yeah, it, 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 they dislike me not just because of what I say, because everybody knows what I say is true, but because of the huge amount of influence I have, and also the influence I have over the one demographic they're most fearful of, which are the young military age men. Okay, there you have it. Uh, Andrew Tate says his life's in danger. He believes that you're given three strikes, um, that his first strike has already been worn out, and that next up is that they're just gonna kill him because of his influence, right? They know that what he says is true and they need to shut him up as quick as possible because, you know, if they don't, then he will empower the people that listen to him to overthrow them. And so he needs, he being Andrew Tate, needs to save the world by, you know, just letting everybody know that he could potentially be killed if he's not careful. No, listen, guys, I'm not going to make light of it. It's not, it's not nice. Andrew Tate, he, his life might be in danger. I don't know. I don't know how many people really don't like this guy. Like, how, how bad do you not like him? Do you not like him like Donald Trump not like him? Or do you not like him like Kanye not like him? So it's like, where, where, where is it? Where does it fall? All right. Well, here we go. Andrew, just stay safe, buddy. Um, becoming a Muslim, though it was not a decision for me, uh, you said it suits you. And, you know, I just hope that you can continue to find peace with your decision and 
not um and and not have to live a life is in fear that uh, that causes you to be in fear um of your life i i regardless of uh, you know what comes and this is what we firmly believe as christians that we just stand boldly toward you know for for our thing i know you stand boldly for your for your for your belief system that's not what i'm trying to say i'm just like yo bro god's got you again i don't me a la god it's you know the conversation is a little different than most but still all right buddy tate take care this is andrew tate's life in danger after becoming a muslim all right this is cool guys take care it'll be good